Cancers, welcome to your Heart Spread Read. This is for mid-December 2021. And today we're reading you in the person that you just can't get out of your head. I already have this laid out. So what we have is you coming in now with the temperance energy. So here's your energy in and around love and relationships. Often read for newer relationships, forming relationships anyway. If not, then think back to when you first got together. And here is the energy, Sagittarius energy. Uh, so, Cancers, we all have Sagittarius in our chart somewhere. I happen to have the sun and three other planets there, uh, but you would have it somewhere. I have my moon in Cancer. So it could speak to that energy. It also speaks to you. I, I like to look at this as just a reading of kind of where you were at and yourself in and around love and relationships. And it's great energy to be in. It's the most, uh, say, the highest octave of expression of Sag energy and love. Um, it's being uh, patient. In uh, Spanish, they have a saying, uh, patience and love. I have a patience and love for you. It's a very sweet thing to say. So it's uh, being uh, content and happy with where you're at in this energy. Um, you're patient because everything's okay, you know, and that's the happy-go-lucky Sagittarius energy. So it's a great energy to have. Now, um, that's kind of where you're at. Now, your person comes in four cups. So this is also just where they're at in terms of love and relationship. And I just kind of want to make this clear because already before you came in their world, here here they are. You know, and it's that's the energy of emotionally like, you know, I just sort of don't care. Um, I don't really believe in love anymore. Um, I'm just not into it. Just like, yeah, it's like, People might even tell them, oh my gosh, I have a new uh, boyfriend, husband, wife, whatever. And they're just like, yeah, whatever. Um, hey, how about those Mets or something or uh, change of the subject. So I just want to make that clear. So kind of already they, they're coming into your relationship with kind of the energy of, you know, I'm not, I'm not really going to really like this. It's that kind of attitude, even like a, almost like a negative. They may have said, oh, well, hey, do you want to go to so-and-so and have dinner? I would, but I bet I'm not going to like it. That kind of energy, man. That's not fun. So, and, and if not, let's see, as they start acting to you, it's with the Empress. So, and then you're having the Three of Swords. I mean, the Three of Swords doesn't have the heart here. This is the clamped art deck, but it's the Three of Swords. Remember, it's thoughts and communication, and you just feel kind of devastated and the way you're reacting to them, it can only mean that they've devastated you. And with the Empress, they may have Aries in their chart that's predominant. But nevertheless, you know, uh, it, this is a, our Taurus energy. Um, but this is the energy of like in this position here, uh, taking control, commanding. Um, uh, Mars is on, their Mars is on your Venus in sinistry. Their Mars is on your moon, um, that kind of thing. They have power, uh, want power over you, um, like your love nature. Um, and so I think that's the way they're expressing. I kind of see this as being a little rough, like they themselves, uh, this could even be kind of rough sexual stuff that gets out of hand, something like this from this end here, guys. And you didn't take it well here, obviously. I mean, who would, you know? Uh, I mean, when you're in this temperance now, I'm not saying it's because I'm a Sag Cancers, but... You know, it's a sweet energy, you know, it's, not, it's like, um, and this here's just kind of someone being a bummer, really, um, and then trying to really over assert themselves in the relationship. Remember, I kind of see this as a new energy. This is like, how are you kind of reacting? To, how are they reacting to you, right, kind of uh, as they get to know you? And I really look at it separate from this energy, because, you know, that this kind of, they're bebopping along with their four cups, and now you come along, and now they're the empress. Well, what does that want? They want to control you, want to take command of you, you know, um, they want to be your empress. <laughs> um, and now, uh, honestly, I would see it as a great thing, but that's me personally, uh, uh, all things being equal. But the point is you don't, you know, you don't see that as being a good thing. You don't want someone to take over your life, try to take control. So the advice from spirit towards them is, I believe, is trying to say like, um, if there's a cross watcher, or if you ever want to share this with someone, I think that'd be a, I'd love to see that as a use of this read as it gets shared with your lover because it resonates. 
Um, but it's kind of like this is spirit's advice. Come on, what is that? That's a, a, towards you. What is spirit's advice in this position for them towards how to behave towards you? Realize that you, Cancer, are their ten of cups person. You know, maybe they. You know, here, here's what this is. They're always going around saying, "There's nobody for me. Love never works. I don't care." It's like uh, Gloom from Gulliver's Island. He was always my favorite. You know, he was uh, the one going around saying, we'll all, we're doomed, we'll all be killed. So it's a little bit like that energy. And then um, here comes uh, Spirit advising them. It's like, why don't you kind of realize that this here is your uh, Ten of Cups here. Everything you've been complaining, uh, Cross Watcher, that you can't find, that you don't have in your life, well, here it is. And yet, they're just uh, not appreciating you, not appreciating the uh, experience here, a karmic connection, not maybe recognizing it. I see a little bit of here, I gotta say, a twin flame. You could be the activator, they could be the sleeper. But it's more like they're in, like they're in defensive mode sleeping. They're like, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like people, they're like, you know, I'm, I don't only have, a, well, I'm not only gonna wear one mask, I'm gonna wear three. I'm gonna be extra careful. So, um you know it's like they just kind of they don't want they don't want to be woke up here now it's very interesting what you have here is the, the high priestess this is advice for the relationship as a whole and then you have the advice of the two of wands now this is your advice from spirit i will clarify this because i'm not clear spirit so help me uh, because this is your advice how best to react to them well this is make a choice that involves action you have to take one or two actions. I often say with two of wands, to me, it's not necessarily the A or B choice. It's a should I stay or should I go choice. Simple. Read that symbol. Should I stay or should I go? Seven of wands. Wow. Um, this is the righteous defense of the castle here. We see more Mars energy. I told you, they're like kind of take, trying to take control of you here with this empress here. Very commanding. You know, um, now, Empress is Taurus, and here's a bull right here, putting the sword, please, not, in, <laughs> I don't want to be like Trumpers, I'm not espousing, you got to kill the Taurus, no, 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 you know, but if this is a choice of actions, you know, it's, it's, if nothing else, it's righteous defense of the castle, so it's kind of saying to you, Cancer, very clearly, do what's right for you, do what's right for you, right? Um, it's like, this is not the time to be a cancer and worry about their feelings and how do they feel and oh my God, because you might understand even a lot of the dynamics, why they're a certain way about their childhood and stuff like that, because here's the high priestess. So it, deep down, there is this connection here, but I think with the high priestess, it means something needs to be understood. And it's absolutely amazing to me that it comes up with the moon card here. So you have high priestess, advice for spirit from the relationship as a whole. So this is advice that what to learn from this relationship, whether or not there's a relationship here, okay, is not the point. It's what can we learn from this? Because it's something very important with the high priestess and with the moon card. It's a beautiful moon card in this deck here. Okay. Um, the Klimt Dart deck. I mean, I'm trying to get us get that in focus here, if it will. Right point. Um, there's something that's always unclear. The moon casts the light and shadows, and there's, um, it's usually something that's about ourselves, it's in ourselves, it's something you don't click and see. And being with the high priestess under this, it's very important, and it will put things into perspective for you in this relationship. And I think it's like super important here because this is exactly a message that if you, if you don't deal with this, for one thing, I'm gonna keep bugging you with this high priestess. I believe it's meaning like you're going to be if not one reading there's going to be another reading there's going to be palm readings there's going to be life experiences there's going to be relationships pulled in that's going to make you understand what's going on here in terms of these dynamics so it's a lot to ask in a little reading like this but can we get something so you're a three of swords so there's a cycle here do you with that you're reacting to them with the three of swords the way they treat you Ten of Swords, it's you ending a cycle. What I like about this as a clarification here, it can mean that this is maybe the one that's enough, like the straw that broke the camel's back. Can I just say this, Cancer? 
be outraged. A good time to be mad. I mean, you don't need to take action here. It's, you need to be assertive, you know, assert yourself. But take care of yourself. Defend yourself. Defend uh, your possessions, yourself, um, whatever it takes here. And um, focus on that. And it's a righteous defense. I always see the Seven of Wands as kind of positive energy. It's usually, depending on the position, it's in course, but... Um, it's usually going to be positive energy, righteous energy, something that you really need to do here. Um, so it's like don't have any qualms about acting mercenary in relationships to make it double clear. And think about the fact that really what's going on is let this really be a great time for with this finishing this uh, uh, new moon we just had. The, the full moon's coming. Guys, it's a great time to do this. It's like really saying in this, in your mind and in, in your thoughts and communication, the way you talk to yourself, what you say to the world, to your friends, to your story, it's like all this just sort of goes away and you say, I'm not doing this anymore where these people come in and want to control me and don't appreciate me. You know, I'm not emotionally available, essentially. So there you go. But let me know, Cancers, if that helps. I appreciate it. If you can think of anywhere to share the heart spread here, it might be helpful, appropriate to anyone. Please do. And feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you, guys.